And the Guardians' new skipper joins us on 30 Clubs in 15 days. Stephen, good to see you. Uh, congratulations once again. Really unique dynamic here because most of the time when you're a first time manager, you're replacing a manager who was let go, fired, but you're replacing a guy that was beloved, that created a great culture, that was a winner. How do you tell the balance of impacting this team with your own vision, but yet honoring the legacy of someone like Terry Francona? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I couldn't be more blessed to be in Cleveland. I'm having so much fun. Uh, it's a great opportunity for, for us, but it feels, it actually feels good. You know, you're replacing somebody like Tito, you can't replace him. Yeah. You know, everybody asks, how are you going to fill his shoes? Like, I'm not. You know, so it's really, it's, it's understanding what have we done well. He left this place in such a good place that now let's pick up where you guys left off and let's see how much better we can get moving forward. Well, I want to ask you about uh, Bo Naylor. I mean, obviously, young, really good looking catcher. Um, just a lot of the catchers in this organization have always had, you know, quite a bit of responsibility put on them. Uh, with with the, the the good starting pitching and the good bullpens, uh, typically you guys brought in hedges to kind of help that along. But you know, talk about you know him learning kind of the ropes and and dealing with that responsibility. Yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit for Bo, I mean, and he understands. He's starting to really realize like how much is going to be on his plate every day. We're going to yeah. challenge him, we're going to push him, but also help him. Right. You know, I think a lot of times a lot of young players just get a ton thrown on them, mm -hmm. and then they got to figure it out. Right. That's not going to be the case with Bo. We're going to help him. He's going to make mistakes. He's going to, but we all learn from our mistakes, and that's been something we've been preaching to our group as a whole. We're the youngest team in baseball. I want them to make new mistakes every single day because that's how we learn. Yeah, and there's already a style of play that was established with this group. Third in the American League in stolen bases. As a former catcher, you saw the, the maiden voyage of these new rules, the bigger bases, how many teams were taking advantage of it. Am I wrong for expecting the Guardians to ramp up the running game even more in 2024? Uh, you're not wrong. I mean, when you have Sandy Alomar Jr., first base coach, yeah. you're in good place. Um, it's We feel really good about our team. We have speed. Uh, we have some smart, smart base runners. And, and like I said, with Sandy over there at first base coach, um, I think we're I think we're going to be we're going to be running. And it's a part of our game, and we have to play small ball. We have to do the little things mm -hmm. right. We got to take every 90 feet we can. We've put a huge emphasis on base running. JT McGuire, our base running coach, has been pushing these guys. We want them to be sick of talking about base running. Um, and that's kind of <laughs> been good. our line around camp. One of the cool aspects of being a manager is now it's not just the big league talent that's here in camp. You have to keep your eyes on the prospects and the guys that are pretty close to helping your big league roster. Is there a youngster out there that you're going, whoa, i kind of looking forward to seeing him with the Guardians in the show? I mean, there's a lot. Like, it's been a really fun camp. We've had a ton of young talent. Um, you know, the obvious two that we've been talking a lot about are Kyle Manzardo and Chase DeLauter. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've, they've had great camps. They've been, they've been showing out really, really, really well. Uh, we have a number of guys that have really stepped up and, and done a good job. And so it's been a really fun camp. Um, I'm trying to learn 450 people's names, so I keep telling people, like, when I see you, please reintroduce yourself because I'm, tr I'm getting ambushed with all these new faces. But I couldn't be more excited about the young talent we have coming up and, um, you know, and the talent we have ready to go. And you, you had talent on the TV side as well. I mean, manager of the Guardians, MLB Network analyst. It was a tough call for you. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't easy, especially, you know, sitting across from you. You know, it, 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 was, it was a tough decision. That would have been an easy decision way. for me. <laughs> He's sick of it already. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Come on. Steven, awesome. Congratulations Thank again. you very Best much. Best of luck in 2024.